Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be Just over three weeks away, 24 days until WrestleMania. Tonight, another epic edition of Friday Night SmackDown featuring the world champion and old challenger in the main event. The road to WrestleMania runs through Kansas City, Missouri tonight. And later on tonight, here on Friday Night SmackDown, the visionary, the world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins reignites an old rivalry with the franchise John Cena. These two men met back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. One month later, they meet non-title in your main event. We kick things off tonight on the road to WrestleMania with the glorious Robert Roode, a man who was a participant in the six-man elimination chamber back on January the 22nd in Anaheim. Came up short on that night, but Robert Roode's looking to bounce back with a victory and looking to find his road to the grandest stage of them all, Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida, WrestleMania. WrestleMania is fastly approaching. It is a double live premiere weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th. Both events will air at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. WrestleMania, just over three weeks away, and the cars for each night are already beginning to take place. We know that the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins will defend against the winner of the Elimination Chamber match back on January the 22nd. That man being Drew McIntyre. That'll be our Friday Night SmackDown main event at the show of shows on WrestleMania Saturday. And of course, as you already know, we will see that man, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Visionary, the Revolutionary, Seth Rollins in your main event tonight. Going one-on-one -on -one with the man he met one month ago at the Royal Rumble. The franchise, John Cena. The title is not on the line, but a whole lot of bragging rights, and I'm sure John Cena is also looking for his path on the road to WrestleMania. But as for Robert Roode, he better stand back because there's a hurricane rolling through Kansas City. And his opponent weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Well, it was two weeks ago here on SmackDown in a tag team elimination chamber qualifying match that Robert Roode and LA Knight defeated Jeff Hardy and this man, Hurricane Helms. Last week on SmackDown, LA Knight picked up a win over Hurricane as well. So Helms is looking for that victory and looking for a measure of retribution against the man, or at least one of the men, that cost him a spot inside the elimination chamber. Remember recently on SmackDown as well, the Hurricane took the World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins to the limit. The former Cruiserweight Champion, the former Tag Team Champion, even at this stage in his career has operated on an incredible level. Hurricane and Robert Roode kicking things off tonight from Kansas City, Missouri. Hurricane go for that Hangman's Neckbreaker, but the former NXT Champion Robert Roode had it scouted. Thank you for joining us here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. Just 24 days away from WrestleMania Saturday. Kick it off what it's going to be an amazing weekend here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. That way you never miss an epic edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Back to the action inside of the ring. Robert Roode again heading to the top and dropping the knee on the sternum of the Hurricane. 
Showing Hurricane Helms he's not the only man who can take it to the air. Robert Roode was the first man out in the Elimination Chamber matchup dating back a couple of weeks. He was pinned and eliminated by Mustafa Ali on that night. Roode looking to bounce back tonight, his first time in action since the Elimination Chamber. I'm sure he is at least close to 100% after the events of that matchup. But nonetheless, with just less than three weeks to go until WrestleMania, everybody on the Raw and SmackDown Rosters are looking to find their path to the grandest stage of them all. But the Hurricane is looking to do the same. Could this be a victory? Two count there, but not just yet. Can't take Hurricane Helms lightly. Held the Cruiserweight Championship multiple times throughout his career. At one point, he was known as Gregory Helms. Held the title for well over a year here on Friday Night SmackDown. As he heads to the top rope, we're also looking at a former World Tag Team Champion in the Hurricanes, so he cannot take them lightly, and Robert Roode has got his hands full, whether you want to admit it or not. Oh, and what a forearm shot. Hurricane changed his agenda there, and still got the same result. Now heads back up to the top rope, and a crossbody lands flush. Robert Roode is down and out right now, as the Hurricane continues the momentum in this opening contest here in Kansas City. There's a counter by the glorious Robert Roode. He's going to take a minute to soak things in and catch his breath here against Hurricane Helms and starting to unload on the superhero on Friday Night SmackDown. Roode not looking to take a loss tonight. I'm sure he would look at that as a bit of an embarrassment, as a bit of an upset. And of course it would be, but Robert Roode does not want to be on the other end, and that glorious DDT may be all she wrote. Well, Rude not watching his ring awareness there. Hurricane's feet under the ropes, saved by the ropes, but Rude just giving him another opportunity to make a statement. Spy Buster and Robert Rude picks up the victory here on SmackDown. Well, a great effort by the superhero of Friday nights, but Hurricane Helms coming up short. The glorious Robert Rude walking away from Kansas City, getting his hand raised, but the question remains, what is Robert Roode's path to WrestleMania? And quite frankly, is there a path for Robert Roode? Here is your winner, the glorious Robert Roode. 24 days ago, or 24 days to go, we should say, until the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. But will this man, the glorious Robert Roode, be under the bright lights in Tampa Bay at the show of shows? We're back live on SmackDown, and we are set for a one-on-one -on -one rematch here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, as Escobar makes his way to the ring, we want to take you back to the First Friday Night SmackDown after the Royal Rumble earlier, about a month ago, Santos Escobar versus Tyler Bate. And you see there, Escobar with the super kick. And right there, Tyler Bate got his foot on the ropes, but the referee was out of position, did not see it. And Santos Escobar stole the victory from Tyler Bate on that night. Escobar, we saw him in action last week on SmackDown in an incredible fight versus Dominic Mysterio. But the Escobar had ambushed Mysterio in the locker room earlier on in the evening. Santos Escobar came up short, and now with this rematch from a month ago, as we mentioned, scheduled against Tyler Bay, where is Escobar's, Escobar's whereabouts in his mind tonight? But as for Tyler Bay, he wants his win back, and he's looking to raise his stock here on Friday Night SmackDown. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler. Well, Tyler Bay has been nothing short of impressive since joining the Friday Night SmackDown roster, but unfortunately has not gotten the hand raise like he would like to. The first ever NXT United Kingdom champion searching for that big win in his Friday Night SmackDown career. Will it come tonight in this rematch versus Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar? Speaking of Legado, later tonight, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza will take on Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura in the first round of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. It'll be SmackDown's opening match of two in that tournament. 
That is coming up later tonight here on SmackDown. But right now, we have, wait a minute, Tyler Bate versus Santos Escobar. And Escobar, I think, is looking to get a head start attacking Tyler Bate from behind. Santos Escobar is out to make some noise the last few weeks. He got that win over Tyler Bate, as we mentioned a few weeks ago, about a month ago, here on SmackDown. And then last week, before his scheduled matchup with Dominic Mysterio, ambushed him in the locker room. But I think all that did was put a, a fire under Dominic's ass and give him the adrenaline to fight through that incredible match with Escobar and walk away with the victory. So again, as we mentioned, where is Santos' mindset at tonight? And is Tyler Bate going to be fired up enough, especially after this early attack, to get his win back over Santos Escobar? Had that foot on the rope a month ago. Will it be the same result tonight? Tyler Bate trying to make sure the result goes the other way. Nice mood salt there by the former NXT United Kingdom champion, who again is looking for that first big victory here on Friday Night SmackDown. Into the cover on Legato's leader, but Escobar gets the shoulder up. Should be a hell of a matchup the first time around it was. And you also got to wonder, we're talking about Santos' mindset, but what is his physical coming into this matchup? Where is he at physically in his condition after his match with Dominic Mysterio last week here on SmackDown? Incredible match, the replay available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as Santos Escobar sending Tyler Bate for a ride over the top rope and down to the floor here tonight in Kansas City. Now Escobar going for the cross body and the former multiple time cruiserweight champion, no stranger to taking it to the air. Escobar all about bringing prestige back to Lucha Libre and doing it in his own way here on Friday Night SmackDown. You may not like his attitude, you may certainly not like his actions, especially the last few weeks and tonight. He cannot knock the abilities of the former Cruiserweight Champion from bell to bell. As Tyler Bates starting to unload, trying to make sure Santos does not get in the momentum, get the driver's seat in this matchup. The fight gets taken to the outside. Tyler Bates unloading on Santos here and a nice headbutt. And again, as you notice, Joaquin Wilde, Raul Mendoza not with Santos tonight as they're in the back preparing for their 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic opener coming up later tonight on SmackDown. On 2v2 versus Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, one of the best strikers in WWE, and Escobar showcasing that he also has that ability off those double knees. And now Ty and Tyler made up. A bit of a suplex variation there. Into the cover, Tyler Bay, yeah, I saw it there. Too close to the ropes. Santos may have cost himself the victory. I'm sure in Tyler Bates' mind, he wants to make sure he's got the power and the endurance to kick out tonight. Get the shoulder off the canvas. Does not want to put the match in the referee's hands in the sense of getting his foot on the bottom rope again, because clearly that did not go his way the first time around. Escobar is unloading right now. On Tyler Bate, out to make some noise on SmackDown is Santos. Continuing to beat down his opponent. Tyler Bate tried getting back into this matchup a few times, but Santos Escobar has been right there to cut him off all the way through. Nonetheless, it's been a great fight so far. The former Cruiserweight champ puts the former NXT United Kingdom champ in the corner. And now Escobar running head start and that bare elbow to the chin of Tyler Bate. And we know how tough Bait is. He's the former NXT United Kingdom champion for a reason. One of the youngest athletes in the WWE. When you get hit so hard like that, it's going to do a number on you. And now Escobar heads to the top rope and a big time superfly splash into the cover to put this thing away. Not just yet as Tyler Bait gets the shoulder off the canvas. Oh, and a nice kick. This reversal there. Can Tyler Bate get back into this? There's the drop kick. Bate making it a dose. Hitting the ropes here. Tyler Bate all goes for a crossbody, but Santos Escobar cuts him off again. And that has really been the story of this matchup. Escobar has been in the driver's seat. Every time Tyler Bate tries to get back into it, Escobar is right there to make sure that that isn't happening. Nice block by Bate right there. Oh, well, yes. Nice snap suplex. And how has Tyler got in mind? Oh, wait a minute, we've seen this in the past. Taking Santos off his feet. That reverse Boston Crab submission hold. 
Santos a little close to the ropes, might be able to race out, but instead able to grab the feet of Tyler Bate, take him away, the balance of Tyler Bate. On the rug out from under him, both men going for drop kicks there, to no avail. Now Escobar is unloading on Tyler Bate. Oh, look at this, trying to steal the victory. Into the cover, will that be all she wrote? Tyler Bate able to push off. Escobar, you see him pacing the ring right now, frustrated that he has not put Tyler Bate away tonight. Santos can't get in his own head. You know, as we mentioned, that loss to Dominic Mysterio last week. How is that favoring Santos' mindset in this contest? Goes for the elbow drop, and he misses it there. Tyler Bate, look at this, double under him, powerbomb, sits out with it into the cover. Tyler Bay picks up the victory in the rematch here tonight. And oh man, Santos Escobar is not going to be happy about that one. What a win for Tyler. Getting his win back from over a month ago. A double underhook powerbomb all she wrote in this contest. Back-to-back -back losses for Legato's leader. How is Santos Escobar going to respond after his shoulders get pinned to the here canvas again? We'll have to see how Santos responds in due time. But tonight, Tyler Bate finally feels victory. Getting his hand raised on Friday Night SmackDown. What is next for this young man here on the blue brand? Well, the action continues tonight in Kansas City as the show off Dolph Ziggler goes one on one with Cameron Grimes, plus the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman takes on Shelton Benjamin. And the results of those contests see Dolph Ziggler in action for the first time since Elimination Chamber getting his hand raised over Cameron Grimes, and Braun Strowman gets the win over Shelton Benjamin. We are back live in Kansas City, and it is time for SmackDown's opening contest in the 2023 Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. As we take a look at the bracket here, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic from Raw winning their opening contest this past Monday night. And as you see next week on SmackDown, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet will take on Imperium. Eight teams, seven remain. The winnings to the victors goes the spoils. The finals of this matchup or the finals of this tournament will take place on night one of WrestleMania. The winners will challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the World Tag Team Championships on night two, WrestleMania Sunday, just 24 hours later. And it very well could be this man, Shinsuke Nakamura, and his tag team partner, Rick Boogs, going all the way to WrestleMania weekend. It's time to find out tonight on SmackDown. And their opponents first from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! It is the nights that careers are made, legends will live forever. WrestleMania weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, a double live premiere for the grandest stage of them all. And as we get set for your opening round match in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for Friday Night SmackDown, it is Legado Del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde. Looking to have a different result than their leader did, Santos Escobar, a little while ago here on Friday night. Will they be advancing to the semis? Are Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs gonna be getting their hand raised here tonight in Kansas City? Nakamura looking to bounce back after his loss at Elimination Chamber. Rick Boogs, things haven't been going his way as well. Is tonight the night they need to get their hand raised yet again? We will find out in moments here on SmackDown. And from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs. Well, speaking of WrestleMania, already signed for that weekend. First time ever, the Beast is back. Brock Lesnar 
will go one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday. What about the Friday Night SmackDown main event? The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, takes on the man we will see in your main event, the visionary Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. The WWE Women's Championship for Monday Night Raw will be defended on Sunday night as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, puts the gold up against the number one contender, Becky Lynch. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, a long time in the making, Matt Riddle, your Royal Rumble match winner, versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. All that and more coming your way at the end of February, just over three weeks, but here we go. Friday Night SmackDown's first first round matchup in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Nakamura and Boogs versus Mendoza and Wild. And of course, the winners of this match will meet the winners of next week's Imperium. Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel taking on Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. That's coming your way next week on SmackDown. The semis will be after that, and the winners of the semifinals will meet in the finals of the Dusty Classic on WrestleMania Saturday. Look at Rick Boogs. My goodness, the height out of this heavyweight. Great tag team offense by Nakamura and Boogs. Boogs into the cover. Mendoza going to get the shoulder up, but that is impressive offense early on by Boogs and Shinsuke. And now there's the strength that we know Rick Boogs score extremely well. One of the strongest competitors, not only on SmackDown, but in the WWE, and he's showcasing it right now, moving this cruiserweight around like a rag doll. Now dropping the elbow, this match has been all Boogs and Nakamura since the opening bell. Mendoza and Wild take an L tonight. It is not gonna be a happy drive home for Legado Del Fantasma, that is for sure. Santos Escobar coming up short against Tyler Mate moments ago. But Mendoza trying to make sure the luck's going to be a little different for himself and Joaquin Wilde. Tagging in Wilde as this Dusty Rhodes tag team classic opening rounder moves on. Now Wilde, look at that springboard, goes for the moonsault, did not get all of it there. I think he might have got the feet on Boogs, nonetheless keeping the offense going. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. With Boogs using the strength here, and that's really going to be, no pun intended, but the strong suit for Nakamura and Boogs, and that is the strength. Boogs better watch out. This dude's all over the place. Boogs going to use his strength. Nakamura's got to use his strikes. And as for Legado Del Fantasma, they got to use their high-flying ability to their advantage. Styles definitely make matchups, and this is one of them right here. With Boogs sending... Joaquin Wilde into the corner, and here comes a little bit of tag team affair again out of Nakamura and Boogs. Nakamura going behind, and down goes Joaquin Wilde. What a matchup it was this past Monday night on Raw. Raw kicking off their half of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic securing the victory over Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. But my goodness, what a match it was, and early. 2023 match of the year candidate. The replay is available right now. Go check it out if you missed it right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Priest and Dijakovic outlasting the Viking Raiders in an absolute war. And they are moving on to the semifinals to meet the winners of this Monday night's match between the New Day and the Street Profits. Dusty Tag Team Classic has been awesome so far and it's only gonna continue to get better as the stakes continue to get higher. Not only is the prestigious winnings of this tournament on the line, but the chance to move on to night two of WrestleMania and challenge the tag team champions of the world, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the gold. Joaquin Wilde trying to get back into this fight here. And he clotheslines Nakamura out of his boots. Joaquin Wilde and Mendoza, they know how to strike as well. These two guys are fighters, extremely talented from bell to bell, but can they get it done tonight here on SmackDown? Mendoza in, a snap suplex on Nakamura, simple yet effective, goes for the cover. I think he knew he wasn't gonna get the finish there. At least trying to get into the mind of the King of Strong Style. This is Nakamura's first match back since coming up short to Bobby Lashley back in Anaheim, the Elimination Chamber failing to secure the United States Championship. A new opportunity arises here on SmackDown. 
Well, Mendoza trying to make sure the opportunity goes Logano's way. Springboard moonsault and now follows it up with that maneuver. Down goes Shinsuke Nakamura and Mendoza is not done inflicting punishment here tonight in Kansas City. Tag made to Joaquin Wilde. Legato's looking to make a statement and looking to make it loud and clear tonight. Double team maneuver. Joaquin Wilde into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? And it is. Rick Boogs too late to break things up. And Legato del Fantasma is moving on to the semifinals. Credit where it's due. Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza effective in this matchup, especially that last minute or so after Nakamura and Boogs really controlled the early portion. Moving on to the semis. What a match. Here are your winners, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. Legado del Fantasma. Well, that is the result. And let's check out the updated bracket. The road to WrestleMania continues as Legado del Fantasma Outlast Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. They will meet the winners of next week's match between Imperium and Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Wait, we're back. I, well, I thought we were on commercial. What the hell is going on? Santos Escobar. That's Dominic Mysterio. Not again. This is the same thing that happened last week here on SmackDown. Santos ambushing Dominic, who's not even dressed for action tonight in the backstage area. And after losing against Tyler Bate earlier tonight and losing against Dominic Mysterio last week here on Friday Night SmackDown, Legato Del Fantasma's leader is coming unglued. You think he'd be in a better mood? At least Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza got it done in the Dusty Classic moments ago, but Escobar is out to make some noise, as we were saying earlier tonight, and make a statement, just as his boys did earlier on. Dominic Mysterio is down and out. This is ridiculous. Well, there he is, the young man trying to fight back. Santos Escobar clearly started this fight for the second week in a row and Dominic was not prepared to be in any kind of assault and action here tonight. It's absolutely ridiculous. The camera's catching up with this. We need some damn referees back there. Get Escobar off of Dominic Mysterio. There's gonna be hell to pay if I know the Mysterio family. That was absolutely ridiculous, but nonetheless, we gotta move on. It is time for your main event here in Kansas City. The franchise is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. John C. One month ago, this man, John Cena, came up short in his attempt to win the World Heavyweight Championship from his opponent tonight, Seth Rollins, at the Royal Rumble. Cena had an opportunity to punch his ticket to WrestleMania in the Elimination Chamber. He had the most eliminations in that matchup, but unfortunately, he was eliminated after being in the final two by the inevitable winner, Drew McIntyre. John Cena looking for his road to WrestleMania. Will it go through Seth Rollins tonight? is a win over the world champion. Just what John Cena needs to get back on track and find his path to the grandest stage of them all. The title may not be on the line, but bragging rights and opportunities certainly are. And tonight is a big fight feel in your main event, Kansas City, Missouri, Friday Night Smackdown, just 24 days away from the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. John Cena is focused, locked in here tonight, and here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. 
the visionary, the revolutionary, and the man who will main event WrestleMania Saturday versus the number one contender, Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins is back on SmackDown. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. We may not like Seth Rollins' cocky attitude, but he has been damn near perfect ever since joining SmackDown in the draft in November, winning the World Heavyweight Championship at the All-Star Kickoff by pinning this man, John Cena retaining the title over John Cena one month ago at the Royal Rumble. And then the last time we saw Seth was at the Elimination Chamber on the 22nd of January, successfully defending the gold around his waist against the show-off Dolph Ziggler. Another incredible matchup that was. Seth Rollins now all sights set on WrestleMania, but a big, big obstacle in his way tonight in the franchise player of World Wrestling Entertainment, John Cena, as we've been mentioning, looking for his road to WrestleMania. Does it go through Seth Rollins? We will find out in your main event here on SmackDown. These two men with a lot of history. The title may not be on the line, but opportunity and bragging rights always are. Rollins dropping Cena with an early DDT. Trying to get this thing done in an early fashion. Just over three weeks before WrestleMania, Rollins doesn't want to risk any injury before defending his World Heavyweight Championship at the grandest stage of them all. Rollins going up high early, could be looking to put the final nail in the coffin in the early moment. Phoenix splash by Rollins. Gets him a two count. Cena gets the shoulder up, but Rollins is coming out swinging in your main event matchup here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Cena able to avoid that moonsault and now sends Rollins right into the corner. Cena's first matchup since he was bleeding buckets inside the Elimination Chamber back in Anaheim on the 22nd of January. As for John Cena, as we mentioned, he had the most eliminations inside of the Chamber matchup. Eliminated Mustafa Ali, LA Knight, and Finn Balor. Unfortunately, was pinned by Drew McIntyre in the final two. McIntyre has got his golden ticket to WrestleMania to fight the man in the gold and silver, Seth Rollins. But where will John Cena be? Will he be at WrestleMania? It's just not going to feel right if the franchise isn't making an appearance, but what is going to be on the card for the franchise John Cena, whether that be on WrestleMania Saturday or Sunday? Nonetheless, John Cena has got a chance to make a case for himself tonight. A win over Seth Rollins could certainly put Cena in line for a future world championship opportunity. Whether that be before or after WrestleMania, that's always the chance hanging in the balance when you're fighting a champion here on Raw or SmackDown. Raw heads to the outside of the ring here in Kansas City. Cena with something to prove tonight. That's where John wants his win back. After he lost to Rollins back at the Rumble. We were Rollins after the matchup. Issued another little beat down on John Cena. I'm sure Cena, although doesn't hold that many grudges, I'm sure he hasn't forgot. Six. Taking down Rollins. John Cena going to head back into the ring here. As Rollins taking his time. Cena going to meet him there. Cena ain't afraid to brawl on the outside of the ring. If that's the fight you want with the franchise, Cena will be sure to give that to you. Rollins ringing that bell off the ring post. My goodness. Cena's feeling it here tonight in Kansas City as he sends the world champion into the barricade. Goes for a shot there. Rollins is able to avoid it, but Rollins eats the barricade head first. Rollins' bell has got to be wrong after hitting the ring post at the barricade on top of that. Now Cena's heading to the top rope. Uncharacteristic for the franchise, but dropping that axe hammer. Oh, it? Robert Roode, well, we saw the glorious one earlier tonight, but why is he coming out here right now? Or is he coming out here? Well, his music's playing. John Cena's eye getting taken off the ball. Roode's nowhere to be found, but Seth Rollins just sent John Cena over the top rope. What the hell is going on right now? I, I don't know if that was a mistake. I, I assume not. I don't know why Robert Roode's trying to take John Cena's eye off the main event. I'm sorry, I don't have too much context to add at the current moment. 
But nonetheless, Seth Rollins is taking control of this match, but don't count out the franchise John Cena. Cena ain't looking to take a loss by hook or by crook tonight. Seth Rollins is still gonna be in for the fight until the bell tolls again. The world champion goes behind, counter into the neck breaker. Cena trying to fight back, but Robert Roode, his music playing loud and clear throughout this arena, taking John Cena's eye off the ball and changing the momentum of this matchup. And he may have just handed the victory to the world champ on a silver platter, but John Cena kicks out at one. Cena ain't going down without swinging for the fences, that is for sure. Rollins dropping the elbow in the back of Cena. Any means necessary in Rollins' mind to keep the franchise down and get this matchup done and over with on the road to WrestleMania. Cena has still got fight. You never count out the franchise player of the WWE. 21 years strong in world wrestling entertainment. Cena trying to fight back, trying to get his wits about him. Refocused the blueprint after his eye was taken off the ball moments ago. Watch out for Rollins and a clothesline takes down Cena. Cena trying to get back into this matchup, but wait a minute, Rollins, Rollins, turn stomp to Cena. And that's got to do it. Not many people are going to shake off a curb stomp and it ain't Cena's night. Well, John Cena was starting to pick up momentum, but unfortunately that was taken away by, I don't even, I can't even say the appearance by the distraction of the glorious Robert Roode, for whatever reason, just handed Rollins that victory tonight. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! Well, hopefully we find out the reasoning behind those events, but nonetheless, the World Heavyweight Champion the visionary of Friday Night SmackDown sending a message to the number one contender, Drew McIntyre. They meet on WrestleMania Saturday. Thank you for joining us tonight in Kansas City. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.